Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Earthbound Randomizer. So, took a couple days break to, you know, do something a bit more Christmassy, but I don't, I don't want to take too much more of a break. I was thinking of doing another Diddy Kong Racing episode, but the thing is, is that I'm pretty sure I'd potentially just forget the entire layout of this place if I did that. And we're in the tunnel. Ooh, super fast. Look at us go. Of course, Super Bubble Ninja Monkey isn't going to keep following us. Uh, they have a live broadcast from the dig. I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. I can examine each one of you for $60. No thanks. You really don't need any treatment? Alright. Very sinister doctor. I don't know how I feel about going down this long, creepy tunnel to visit a doctor who's colored blue like that. Okay, we already got the thing from you. We didn't go through here, right? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Trying to remember. Uh, we, we don't, I don't know if we want to be there quite yet. That's kind of late game stuff, right? I feel like I could get uh, my butt handed to me going there. Okay. I need to also just need to figure out a good layout. Open the present. There's a cup of life noodles inside. Finally, some res... That's like a one-way thing, isn't it? Like, gosh dang it. All these one-ways. Like, the thing is, is that we're close to Tucson, so... I no sort of know where. Hello. Thank you again, po uh, Mr. Jeffin. Welcome to L'Hotel de Summers. My name is Rishosa Rishwand, and I'm the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid that we do not have any reservation under your name. However, we can offer you a room at $600 a night. No. No. That's way too much. Okay, it's, after, it's an actual phone. It's weird. I don't think we've ever actually gotten homesick, but I, I'm still going to do the call to mom just in case. I don't know if that was removed from this or not. Okay. Okay, we're over here now. And she's gone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are you going to spoil things for me? Let me just check. Yes, you are a spoiler bear, so we shall not talk to you. I do not want to be spoiled on what's coming up. Good grief, look at all these enemies. Just... Everyone is just spawning up there, away from us, so we can't actually fight them, so we can't find out how strong any of this stuff is. And they're gone. I'm just... There was the one woman who spawned here, so we could probably get somebody to spawn, right? There we go. Let's see how this fight goes. I'm curious. Oh, it's a wasted Tengu. Oh, these guys hit me pretty hard last time. Uh... I think we should be fine, especially if we use our strongest freeze attack. Uh, hopefully. Okay, good. Yeah, those guys, although I'm actually probably a lot better prepared to deal with them now, considering we've gained a whole bunch of levels since last time, but it's still nice just to get these huge boosts in experience. Man, freeze is just so dang good in this game. So this is a potential grinding spot if I wanted it. Okay, so there was that... So I think now I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable with going down the hole. I feel like I've checked out every possible way I could go. So let's see what's down the hole. Let's see where this could possibly take me. How funny, it actually connects to Brick Road. Okay, cool, it isn't a dead end. I can actually go back up the hole. Maybe it was too easy? My name's Rick Rowe, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skill with Dr. Andonut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. Uh, yes, yes, you totally look like, uh, the Dungeon Man I was expecting to see. Also, there are so many of those guys that are just blue. Are, are, are those all the doctors? Oh, what did we even fight? Well, it's dead, whatever it was. Cool, I, I, I like that experience. Oh wait, 
Are you like a, uh... It, it is a pencil-shaped iron statue. Yes, this is a pencil statue. Okay, what... Where does this take us? Oh, hey, we can fight you, can't we? No, guess not. Probably a good thing those hieroglyphics were a problem. This is, it's just a rat. How, how bad could it... Oh wait, it's Master Ratty. These guys gave me a problem, didn't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they killed Jeff in more than once. Uh, use fire, because we can do that. You know what, let's, let's use all our strong PSI attacks. Thunder's probably not going to work quite as well. Okay, that's good. De oh, wow. Oh, baby. Those smash attacks. <laughs> okay, good experience again. Like, that that's the thing. Just being down here on floor six, we get such good experience from so many... We found the next Your Sanctuary boss. I'm not sure I'm prepared for this. Unbelievable. We already found another one. I don't think I needed to do beta, but give me a second. Okay, let's give this a shot. You finally got here. This is the sixth Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. What? Um, it's a flawed shroom! <laughs> Why is it all caps? I, I don't remember the gimmick with these guys, and I... Except we're probably gonna get, like, plenty of mushrooms, and it's gonna go horribly. Um... Do, 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 do. Dang, the beats are just so dang catchy, it distracts me. King Banana, go! I don't remember what, remember what the King Banana actually does. You know what? Sure. Sure, we'll use use that. Let's see. Offense is 95, defense is 154, speed is 18, 100% vulnerability to PSI fire. Oh, that's not good. So fire is good. Freeze is meh. Can't... Mirror is very... very bad, pretty much. Yeah, so we want to use fire, I think. Wait. Did we lose the King Banana? What does is, what is the King Banana do again? I don't even remember. Um, I'm a bit scared to use something like... Uh, like, you know, his PSI abilities now that he's got a mushroom on his head. Sleep works. I could maybe try that. So fire is a good thing to use. Did it say he was invulnerable to Thunder? Uh, to all of us, to one of us. Let's put a shield up. Yikes, yikes that's... And, and that was pretty weak healing, honestly. Put the shield up. Okay, everyone, including the bubble monkey. <laughs> that, that honestly isn't much better. Like, seriously, for how expensive that is, I think I might as well just use Freeze. We'll get more uses out of it. We can start using Bashes. I'm gonna try Thunder Alpha and just hope that it hits. Gosh dang it! Now we will never know. Okay, that's good. Jeffen, use healing beta. I'm pretty sure beta doesn't work on the mushroom. Just keep using beta. Wait, he has PSI. We should use uh, use magnet. Use. Let's steal some of his uh, PSI from him. Like we could just drain him of all of his PSI. Oh, good. Good, everyone is just going to be feeling strange now. Okay, we got rid of the poison. 
So I'm pretty sure mushrooms can't be gotten rid of. Uh, like, maybe if we had a better kind of healing, but I... no. Okay, we'll, we'll just go. Let's just hit him hard. And hopefully this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, decent damage. Not really that... Oh, gosh. Okay, cool. That actually hit. Let's see... Like, it's because it targets all rows is the problem. So even though he's vulnerable to it, it doesn't seem worth it. Like, let me just try Alpha. And... I still want to try and hit him with Thunder just to see... Gosh dang it, Thunder! Why do you always miss? Okay, that's almost just about as good. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing fine. Jeff and heal up. Uh. Do, 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 do. I keep getting distracted by the music, just kind of wanting to just groove to it. <laughs> Let's try beta just to see how much more that does. Uh, should we use these? Let's use a super bomb. Just because we can. Okay, beta. I want to... Oh, that was it? Really? That was it? My gosh, that experience. Holy cow. I just threw a bomb at him. My gosh, how much harder is it to deal with... Uh, master puke up on like the second floor and then this is the boss we get for floor six my gosh really <laughs> okay 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 i'll take all the experience this is good uh we do need to find a doctor though uh well we found a doctor right uh but we, we need to f how do we get rid of the mushrooms that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Isn't there, like, one specific guy who will, like, buy the mushrooms off you? Oh, wait. He got he got a new healing. Uh. Okay, cool. We took care of that. Kato, uh, how good of, is your healing? Poison was removed. Mushroom wasn't. Just out of curiosity, does it do anything? No, no, we can't do anything about the mushrooms. Uh, cool, cool. <laughs> Super Bubble Ninja Monkey's just like, oh, you need robot bodies to be here in the past? I'm perfectly fine. I can just, I can handle this just fine. Oh my gosh. We're making like a trumpet. We're making like a trumpet sound when we walk. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh god. And I don't know where I would go to for healing. Is the thing. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be stuck with a mushroom on my head for all eternity. Hey, it's a hotel. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, wait, if I die, I would lose the mushroom, right? So I just need to let, gosh dang it. Ugh. This is the worst. Okay, left is up. So good, good. Oh, thank gosh. Way to go, please come back again, Brick Road. Okay. I finally figured out the rotated controls. I want to talk to the cat. Please let me talk to the cat. Ugh. Ugh. Come here, you cat. Ugh. Dang it, mushroom. Meow. Uh, who are you? Great Southern International Resort. $100 per night. Uh, clearly not. Or you're not offering it to me. Maybe you're just telling me about the place you're staying in? Okay, I think... Okay, we're at a hospital where we want to be. 
Controls are now perfectly... Re oh my gosh, we're in Onit. Wait, we're, we're back on, like, the second floor, aren't we? Gosh dang it. I, I didn't get back attacked. What are you talking about? Oh, that isn't great. We need some healing. Hopefully you heal up Ralph, Jeffin. Uh, seems like a good opportunity for fire. And... Sure. Okay, these guys hit hard, but... Oh my gosh. Paula actually survived that. Okay. Holy smokes. That is... That is effective. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous, though. Every time I see the words, uh... Jeff it is feeling funky. I'm expecting just, like, you know, devastation. We really need to... Wow, Jeffin. Look, Jeffin, you know, was originally getting killed by everything. Jeffin can now tank the hits for us. That's incredible. Like, Jeffin has go gone from, like, being the worst character to actually having some really good skills. And having good gear, good health. Okay. There we go. And also one thing, do we have the ability to teleport here yet? Are you kidding me? No, we don't. I need to figure out where I need to go in here in order to get the teleport. So that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to try and figure out... Well, we finally found a way to uh, get to own it without going through uh, Master Puke. We found the roundabout. So next time, we're going to explore some of Onit and uh, see if we can figure out how to get rid of these mushrooms. And, you know, actually, isn't, isn't that kind of insane? Doesn't that mean that effectively uh, Master Puke, going through Master Puke, was kind of like a shortcut down to floor 7? I don't know, but it's kind of crazy. Like, two places were like shortcuts way the heck down. So, well, that's going to do it. So, thank you so much for watching me. Sorry, like, Vasing Falcons, you have a wonderful day. Peace out.